Peggy 18. Hi, I'm Scott Amos, executive producer on Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. In this dev diary, we'll explore what makes a next-gen Lara. Lara's entire model was upgraded, both textures and materials. We've even added dynamic effects for how we light her skin and for materials that change for sweat, mud, and blood as she goes throughout the different areas of the game. This looks like some kind of fire ritual, a sacrificial ritual. One of the ways that we upgraded Lara was certainly looking at her head and her face and saying, we want to build our first attempt at what a next-gen Lara Croft could look like. Lara's head has been retopologized and increased in resolution for a higher fidelity and appearance. Her head was literally rebuilt from scratch with over five times the density and improvements on her eyes, nose, mouth, and cheeks, and all of her textures are at a higher resolution as well. The next big area for us to focus on upgrading Lara was something we could only do on next gen. For Lara, her hair is one of the biggest elements you'll constantly see from a third person camera running through an action adventure. So we added truss effects, custom written and custom optimized for next gen consoles. This thing still works. This technique allows for all the individual strands of her hair to actually be calculated as a simulation in physics to react to wind, weather, and as she moves, runs, or she's even hanging upside down in the world, giving amazing fidelity to how this character looks on screen. One of the other ways we wanted to upgrade Lara was specifically looking at her skin. It's a very big deal. It's another part of her character that you see a lot, and she goes through so many big changes in this world where she gets muddy or bloody or wet from all the rain, or when wading through stagnant pools. So we wanted to add something special for how we light her skin as well. We've added subsurface scattering on Laura's skin. The net effect is that it gives her a more realistic and lifelike appearance. It literally means when light hits her, it goes just below the surface of the skin and scatters or diffuses as it would in real life. Drip maps have been added across Laura's skin that actually react dynamically in the environment when she's under stress or exposed to rain or wading through water. These drip maps are effectively textures or wraps overlaid on top of the model at different locations that are turned on or off during certain game events. So you can actually see the beads of rain rolling across her skin and you can see the blood drying on her as she walks across some really dangerous and harsh environments. We put Lara through everything on this island, and we want players to feel that visceral sensation of being in this world with her and saying, oh my gosh, I can see the realism here. I can feel the pain and the angst that she's going through in each of these moments. So one of the things that we had to do, looking at the next gen version of Lara Croft and looking at Tomb Raider, was put all kinds of simulation into the world. All of her gear now has physics simulation added on top of it. You'll see when she has the bow on her back, it will jostle around realistically as she jumps, runs, and traverses the terrain. We even went so far as to make the very arrows themselves in the quiver jostle and move according to how she runs and traverses the world. You'll even see things like the radio that is strapped to her back, pistol in her holster, and more importantly, one of the key pieces of equipment, her climbing axe, swinging naturally as she runs around or climbs or hangs from various areas. It adds that nice, subtle nuance that when people see it, it just makes the world feel more realistic. It makes her feel more grounded and cohesive rather than props that are just stuck to her. This gear is actually tied to her in a realistic way. So this is just a glimpse at how we made a next-gen Lara. From the different effects we added to the dynamically changing materials on Lara's skin. From all the new head, face, and tress effects hair to the physics we added to the gear itself. This is truly the definitive edition of Tomb Raider.